going on, big head? Good morning. I'm all out of sorts today. I do have some tea, though. That's a good thing. Ah, thank you. Look at the FPS. It's crazy. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna just kind of hang out and um, I had to redo her lods. Some some something got messed up, but I fixed it. Um, for whatever reason, it wasn't showing my my tree lods. Roads were fine. Everything else here looks pretty good. I don't think it would have been an issue if I didn't use this map, but I do, so... Yeah. Should be fine. So, yeah, we recreated her, but we gave her uh, some new gear. She's got the Twilight Princess. And, uh... She is a vampire, obviously. We started her off that way last time, so she starts this way this time. The weird thing with the physics is um, the duel, like she's got... Here, I'll show you. So she's got the cloak and then the tacit. The tacit's the small part at the bottom. So I could just do this, but it looks weird when she runs. And I, I like the uh, tacit. And then without the cloak... Um, pretty cool it's got the uh, armored pa uh, right right-handed pauldron so the right hand side is a little more armored there's a couple other pieces of gear um, I gave her the book the book's not gonna matter for magic regen ultimately I mean it's right there you can see the book and then you see the tiny little it's right there, the little, I forget what it's called, the uh, belt, belt, belt wrap, yeah, doesn't do anything, just, it looks there, it's decoration, I think she came out pretty good, two different boots, uh, these are like the vampire boots, um, there's other boots too, but I, Tried all bunch of different com uh, combinations. I didn't like them, so. Yeah, the armor is nice. I got a bunch of other stuff in here. Um. Yeah, like all the BDOR stuff. Peacekeeper. Well, not. This is uh. The Kuroxia Guardian. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, what else do we have? Where is it? And I haven't done any testing with this. Yeah, this is the armor pack. And then of course we got this big boy. All with physics. So, I don't know, we could have given her something a little different, but decided not to. This also would have been pretty good, too. Maybe. <laughs> Same with this, light armor. Uh, a little too, I don't know. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. And then it goes into heavy. Well, we're not dealing heavy, so. Decided to go with the Twilight Princess stuff. 
I like it. Looks good on her. And I think I have the animation set. We are at about 80, 70, well, it's between 75 and 80 frames. And then depending where you look, it dips down to like 50. But it looks good. Um, we're going to go in Sadri's. I think we were... Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. I have any questions? All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. I see you shaking there. So who supplies your goods? I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. So nothing stolen. Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. Don't let Viola catch you in her house. So we're going to have to be careful in the daytime. Daytime, she's vulnerable. I think that is pretty cool, though. That's a nice look to her. Goddamn TK dodge. Still says vampire, but... You know. Spare a coin for a poor old woman, my lady. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. you just do That's sneaky yet.
I also added a few things in. Uh, it's like dynamic things, alternative, so you can search these things. They, they don't really have a lot, but barrels, things like that. And I stuck with the Lux. Like you could also harvest the wood piles. Forget what else I did. A few other things. I was gonna add, I think this is still a high poly project. I was gonna add the, uh, the new cabbage mod, but I already had high poly in. But I do have the, um, what do you call it? The garlic mod. I feel like that's messed up. But it's not, sadly. Take her money. Uh, no, still Pycho. I just adjusted it a little bit. And grant peace to these departments. All at reasonable prices. Let's make a save here. Assorted fruits and vegetables, all delicious and affordable. Fruits and vegetables, all ripe and ready for your table. And tools you just can't live without. Come and see for yourself. Come and browse my fine selection. No. Everything's Glasgow. fresh and delicious. I told you to leave my tools alone. You have yours, and I have mine. I didn't touch it. Hammers don't have legs. Did you look behind the forge? I think I saw it there. Oh, yes. Now we you mention it. You come here where you're not wanted. Eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm folks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight. We got ways of finding out what you really are. <laughs> What's going on, Cross? <laughs> it's 
gray skins. Yeah, the Nords of Let me know if you see anything. Nords of Windhelm are uh, not too kind. Have you taken care of that little problem? Yep. Done. Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. Speaking of fortune, here. Everything I earned from my last shipment, it's yours. This gave me 400. That's not bad. I don't think I have anything to sell him. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I think we've already done that. Ah, uh, no, that's right. Anything we stole that, uh... Let's get rid of that crap. Yeah, if we steal anything... See, I can't use a potion of regeneration. She won't regenerate in the daytime, and this isn't going to matter. That will keep. This may come in handy. Farewell. Have a look around. I buy and sell just about anything. Chill, my ass hurts. On a stool, I wait for my chair to arrive. Doesn't sound pleasant. Let's, uh... Let's see here. Where are we going? What time of day is it? Welcome. Oh, let me know if you want anything. I think I've got a clean mug around here. Somewhere. Yeah, see, Elda doesn't like to do her job. She likes to hang back over here. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Good. <coughs> let's, uh... Let's ask about rumors. Suspicious activity around Helgen. Sounds boring. Anything else? Folks been hearing some strange stuff coming from the Aretino place. Chanting. Talk is, little Aventus is trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Okay. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves the built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. <laughs> Say anything else? They say Fallian of Morthal has studied vampires, Draugr, and all matter of undead. Okay, we need a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Could have sworn I had asking keepers to show rooms. I'll so show you to your room. Guess right I don't. this way. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Look at that. She's got money. Go ahead. We're totally not going to steal anything. Nope. Ah, shit. Of course, he'd be coming over. Now he's going upstairs. Beautiful. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yep. Yep, we're good. Common taste.
Ah, oh, nice. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, Magicka. All right. What are we doing? Conjuration again. She uses a bound sword. So let's get that's enough. See the new, uh, yeah, they look good. I like them. Same with the elves here. The elves here look pretty good, too. Now we need a replacer for the dried, uh, frost mirian. Maybe I will throw that cabbage mod in. See some E and B light going on. Yeah, the lighting looks a lot better now. You can see the hit I take though. <coughs> it's worse inside than it is outside. That almost never happens. But, uh, thank you, JK Mods. I see Susanna's still alive. Okay. Ah, there she goes. Yeah, see, we got rid of the green filter. So, it's still going to be pretty bright for Night Eye. Uh, we may not need it. She does have her lantern. But, uh... Without being seen, this is actually pretty good. Can we muffle? Yes, I'm going to cast it. Beautiful. Let's go pick out some guards. Give us a straight answer. He's a true Norn. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of him. Uh, Rudolph, welcome in. Uh, so True HUD. And then the Nordic preset for it. And then for a matter of time, which is up top, I have a a better preset for that as well. Can we get away with this? I don't know. Couple of guards. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to deal with three guards. Especially with this guy sitting over there. She just needs to feed, that's all. Let's drop a save. Let's try it. Let's see. Ooh. He's moving. That's close. Let's see if they get aggroed. Let's 
take all this stuff. Yep, nothing to see here. Definitely not a dead guard. Yeah, I pretty much play with True HUD anymore. And uh, the UI is Nordic. Except I changed the, uh, like the little cursor. So the red quill is actually from Dear Diary, but I just, I ripped it from there and just made my own mod. So I don't even have Dear Diary installed. I literally just have the cursor uh, SWF file. Sent the author uh, a message to ask him if I can upload it, but have not heard anything yet. It's an odd looking moon. Looks like the texture is missing. It's not, it's just, it's the atmosphere right now. I have, uh, what is it? Stargazers, Master and Secunda. Somebody wants me dead. It's not the guards. I bet it's somebody down below. Yeah, see the moon looks normal now. Yeah, it is a little bit bright, but it's not that bad. Yeah, we will have to uh, to lower that, and uh, it's definitely saturated, so we'll have to take care of that as well. Just have to be careful of the uh, wolves and bears and all that other f fun stuff over here.
the other side. Well, this might not be good. See you, burn. you probably will. Swamp Venom, huh? Yeah, we'll have to fix this. It's not bad, it's nice to be able to see, but... a little much at night. Get our first sky shard. He's healing. He's trying to. Pain in the ass. Nice. There you go.
morning time. Yeah, 5 a.m. Well, fuck. dead. They hit like crazy. Yep. All the way back in the barracks. God damn. Did we kill the guard at least? No, we did not. Yeah, see, I don't have uh, quick saves or auto saves in my my game. Um, so you bloat reasons. So. Ah, come on, buddy. Ah, good if you're gonna go that way. See, it's not too bad when you're inside, but when you're out out at night, so I'm gonna have to change the nighttime setting for that. For the night eye. Okay. Keep muffle up for the hell of it. Would have liked to have fed more, but there's too many guards on duty. I ain't asking for much. Just a few septums. Yeah, see, it's behind a cloud is what it is. So let's see who wants me dead here. Last time we came out, I had a, it's probably wolves that are down below. We might be able to take them out. We'll have to see. Yep. anymore. No, that would be it. Can also regain our uh, health and magicka by swimming underneath, which is nice. Um, not using any survival mods. I do have campfire installed, but about it.
no Khajiit. Sadly. Let's uh save here. Take two. Things want us dead. Already? Oh, fucking god. Oh, these are reclings. Wow. <laughs> One spear right through the forehead. That's insane. But we did say we made our game difficult. Let's uh let's go back this way still. Yeah, I do like the atmosphere, like the sky, the aurora. It blends a little bit nicer than some of the other mods. Doesn't do much damage. Not really. Oh, shit. That apparently doesn't help. This does, though. Oh, there's a couple of them. Bastards. Alright, let's GTFO if we can. Yep, spiked me right in the leg. Let's get inside Braywood. Come on in. Yeah, I was like warm right food? in the center warm of my head. Warm beds. <laughs> We're literally just here to, uh... Ah. Oh. Let's see. Ah! Keep your spells away from me! Alright. Now we can go out and kick their ass a little bit. Totally forgot I had the Lord from the beginning. I just have to be careful where I uh, use it. Got him. 
Yeah, she's covered. I switched it to red this time. Nah, oh, man, we we are gonna get into so many fucking adventures. I just thought Dude, it'd be let's nice. Let's go tag team some bitches, eh? You want you want to go? Yo. Tag team? You want to? Okay, let's go explore. Holy some monkeys! Shit. That's the next best thing. Appreciate the follow. Welcome into the shadows. Is it? Uh, yeah, we got a. Well, let's try and get up there ASAP. What are we thinking? Saber cat? Bear? Saber cat. There we go. About time. What's up, Skydew? It's nice, vampire, huh, big head? <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, I gave her the red, uh, the red trim this time. Last time I, I used the gold. I think the red looks nice. Should probably get as much of, of our magic back as we can. So. It's over this way. Oh, this is Manny Marco's shrine. Fire mages. Barely survived that. save here and of course it's daylight which isn't gonna do much for me now if I revert form I'm gonna lose that health aren't I and I'll be dead I think or not we just don't have any magicka. We have a little bit of magicka. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the uh, to the Atronach stone. You can see all the things out here that want me dead.
This counts as a feeding too, so that's nice. I saw the amulet. Where'd it go? Usually places it right there. You can't see it. Most of the other times uh, with this mod, it places the amulet somewhere here. Not that it's a big deal, but um, did I get a ring? I think I picked a ring up. Storm collar. So yeah, we get a little bit more boost to my health and my magicka. So for right now, we'll wear this. All right. Cool. Sucks that it's daytime, but you know. Not early morning. They're not tough at all. I don't know why I'm taking the bone meal. I don't need it. Let's see off fighting. Nothing yet, but you never know. Just some wolves. with the arrows. Jesus. We're dead. <laughs> Alright, once we get the Atronach Stone, we need to GTFO. Fighting in the daylight like this is just not conducive to this character whatsoever. We did take the sign, right? We can at least take the skeletons out. They're they're pretty easy.
these guys are on the floor. Now it doesn't help to have stamina. Level 4, they do hella damage. No. Fucking hell. I thought we had him. Thought we had him. Yeah, we'll have to get out of here. That's that's me getting ballsy. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even going to go by that route. We're going to go back the way we came. Maybe the troll, we could take out the troll. Doesn't help when I don't have any stamina. Does make a nice morning though. Maybe we'll try the skeletons over here just to see. Since they don't have dragons yet, although you know what? Since there are no dragons in my game, there should be a bunch of skeletons here. Worth three of them. Oh, they went down pretty quick. They do get more difficult. sword, huh? Ah, not really worth it. Actually, it's more worth it for me to take these uh, mammoth skulls. Did we gain a level? Yeah, we did. Let's see. Level 2. Magicka. Health. Magicka. This one's gonna be um, two perks, huh? Oh, definitely the second in conjuration. And I'll put one into illusion. There we go. Perfect. Go down this way. Now the witch. Where is she? She's she's gonna be like level forty. And she's gonna be in a foul mood. Might be able to weaken her a little bit. Yeah, there she is. Up 
Oh, level 20. Yeah, we don't want to get with that. At all. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> she summoned wolf pack. That's crazy. Yeah. dead. And he's immune. Fucking hell. Now I thought the potions worked during the day. Oh, they do. Very nice. We're gonna have to be uber careful. Bears and saber cats and wolves and <clears throat> all that fun stuff. Like she's injured. Uh, what's wrong with your eye there, dear? <laughs> I forget what I have. I have a mod installed where the uh, facial expressions, I forget the name of it, conditional expressions maybe? That just, that looks like something else. <laughs> Which I can't say. <laughs> I mean, I can, but. I may have to uh, turn that one off because that's going to be the running gag now. How much time do we have with this? Ah, here's the other one. Oh, he's empty. Time. By the time we get in there, we could probably sell some of the stuff that we looted. Uh, let's actually get inside Candle Hearth so we could regen some of our stats. Uh, specifically, my health. Come on in. Yeah, during we the daytime, food, we don't regen anything. So. <clears throat> I 
Okay, now she's feeling a little better. Still has some blood on her, but she's not making the stink eye anymore. Should be good Skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. And that's all he'll buy. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Yeah, we can start working on our enchanting a little bit. I should have a few things, right? Like mage robes. Cool. Cookware, knives, and other goods for the home, all at reasonable prices. Hey. You mind? I was here. I don't haggle. If you want a lower price, look elsewhere. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Bernal's getting all up my business. <laughs> so yeah, we could sell the right. We can't even disenchant these things, unfortunately. Triple enchant. We could sell them. We'll keep the necklace just to uh, enchant later on. And I don't use the fr the frenzy stuffs. Pointless to me. We may learn this. This might come in handy. Who knows? Here we go. We'll keep one. Cool. Thank you for your custom. All right, Brunwolf, out of the way. We have a little bit of money to work with, so we're okay. You could tell I didn't get a good night's sleep last night, and I was up at like 1 a.m. my time. So I've been up this whole time. somewhere safer. It does look nice though. Save. Alright Alfarin. Need a ride? Yep. Where do you want to go? Take me to White Run. Climb and back and we'll be off. Fair enough. You ready to go yet? Yeah yeah yeah. You ever <laughs> been to White Run before? The Jarl's palace is something to see. Dragon search, they call it. Big old dragon skull hanging on the wall. We get to see the tundra. I hope regenerating lots didn't uh, mess my tundra up. I had it looking really nice, but we just didn't have the trees on the map. By and Ismir, it's true. The true three lots. 
just north by the Laurius farm. Ah. Who had a coffin in a cart with a broken wheel. Third, uh, like to see him third sky shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and I added EMB light to the sky shards. Because there's a mod for that, so. There we go. Oh, we have a level up, too. Uh, this one goes into stamina. So do we have... Destruction's almost there. Enchanting's another big one. Uh, let's go one-handed. Couple perks here. We also need alteration. I may as well max this out while I can. Cool. We got an extra perk from that. Plus we were, I think, what, level 5? Level 6. Skyrim's gone mad, girl. We need to be careful. Careful, huh? Thanks, Skullgirl. Yep, there's the woolly rhino. Here you go, big head. I think it looks nicer. That is one big ass tundra spider. Yeah, we're not gonna make it out. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna wreck. All right, let's shoot TFO. I don't even think the guards would survive this thing. He's fighting something. Oh, the rhino. Well, that worked. I will leave you alone. Yeah. Just low on stamina. I want to go down by the giant camp, but... Yeah, see? When I reloaded it, it threw my... This is what was happening, Big Head. It threw, I'm going to have to reset my innies. It, uh, it threw all my fades down, with the exception of the grass fade. I had everything tweaked, and then when I ran into Lod, it threw all my... And if I put them up, it's not going to matter. So I wonder if reloading is what, what what's causing that. I'm gonna have to fix that. It's just it's an any tweak is all it is. But it wasn't like that before, and this is the issue that's been happening. Like I can jack these all up and save it, but if I die or if I reload the game for whatever reason, it just it puts them all the way down at at minimum. Am I using FPS stabilizer? Yeah. Oh, does it really? Well, shit, I ain't gonna take that out. 
because I can't have stuff fading in and out like that. And I really don't think I need FPS stabilizer. Good to know though. I mean, we're we're stable. It's not uh I c I could even probably turn the AO off. I think I have AO on, right? Yeah. Yeah, it puts me over sixty. Save it. I don't play with depth of field anyway. I had the ambient occlusion on, but we'll turn it off for now. Yeah, it still looks fine. A little bit better frame rate. Okay. So that's so it's that mod that's doing that, huh? If you disable your idiot, we'll use its original settings. Gotcha. I never noticed, like... I never noticed anything either way with that mod. Yeah, see like how the tower just faded in there? Pain in the ass. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that mod out. I can't have it reverting. Alright. Oh. She needs more stamina. You should be able to like... I mean, I guess there is sun here technically, but... Alright. She's fine. Alright. I gotta make a save, guys. Well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go do that. Hey, Silver Drift. What's going on? We'll, uh. Yeah, see, we're at like 60 something frames now. And she's tired. <laughs> the expressions. Um. That's all I'm gonna do for right now, guys. Um, like I said, my sleep is all messed up. I need to at least take a nap for a little bit. But we're gonna be back later uh this afternoon around maybe like maybe around dinner time ish um i'll take out fps stabilizer because if it's reverting my innies i can't have that at all it dropping my fade down like that i no we can't have that so It was a horrible day. It was horrible days until I figured out which mod was doing it. Yeah, I was. I I thought it was something with uh, just my any settings in general. I didn't think it was a mod. But it's crazy because they're not always at like here. They're not always down like this. Sometimes, like, object is, like, here, item could be here, and an actor would be, like, right there. Grass fade never changes. Grass fade's always fine. It's the only one that it doesn't touch. But these three, they all get, like, these are all up higher. These are all pretty much maxed out. So, I'm gonna have to take that mod out. I mean, we really don't need, I mean, if I look in this direction, yeah, we're going to get like 47, but overall FPS is fine for me. And I do like the Tundra a lot better, by the way. Yeah, she looks tired. All right. Did I save? I did save. Okay. No need to save again. So let's do that. Let's, um... I don't even know if I'm going to raid anybody. If there's anybody on. I don't have anybody on. Okay. So no raid today for me, guys. Um, we'll call it there for now. I'm going to finish off my tea. And I, need, I need to lay down because I've been up for a while since uh, last night. But I'll be back 
I'll be back uh, this afternoon. Your current settings are all maxed out. Yeah, I'm going to take that mod out. All right, that's all I got, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay down and uh, hopefully get some sleep. Even if it's like four hours, that's that's about it. It'll, better than what I got yesterday. So. You too, Rudolph. Much appreciated. Yeah, I'll be back. We'll be back with. Uh, I like I said, I'm, this was just mostly testing, because I didn't get a chance to. But I haven't streamed in a while, so a couple days. Um, so I figured I'd at least stream what was going on from the beginning, just checking some stuff out here and there. Good to know about that stabilizer mod, Big Head. Thank you. All right. I'm off. I will see everybody later. Enjoy your...